Hey, it's Pivotal here. We're here and we're excited. We're at the premiere in Columbus, Georgia of Overcomer. We're here with none other than Stephen Kendrick. Thank you so much for coming out, Honored for having you. us. Listen, what's the vision for Overcomer? What do you see coming out of this? Well, with all of our films, we want to bless people with a great story and they can see a film that's family friendly. Anybody can go see it. But our hope and prayer is that God will transform their life, either through hearing the gospel or the message of the film. As you know, War Room was about prayer. Courageous was about fatherhood. So this movie is about identity in Christ. Okay, so what, what challenges have you guys had? Because anytime you go for the jugular like that, we right. know that there have been challenges. What would you say have been the challenges with this film that were unique? Well, the, the entire, making a movie is very hard. Period. You know? Yeah, that's right. There's a thousand landmines you can step on that can stop the movie from being completed. So we're praying every step of the way. You know, there's weather challenges. There's casting the wrong person. Oh, no, we got to cast this person instead challenges. You're working through budgets and legal stuff. You, you know, we had over 80 churches that helped us to make the movie. So you got, That alone. That's <laughs> incredible, yeah. But it's beautiful because across racial and denominational lines, people were working together about something that they could come around and believe in and now people will be able to see it all over the world and be blessed by it so okay what is your most t telling moment because you know we, we talk to Cameron all the time and he's like I can't reveal it I can't reveal right, it right, right. <laughs> but what was your most telling moment about this film well, if you're talking about Cameron specifically, we had two guys that we were uh, considering casting with him being one of them. And uh, we were praying through saying, Lord, would you make it clear? And the Lord leaned us towards Cameron. We're so grateful that, that we cast him. Not only humility on the set and servant's heart, but professionalism, you know, at every level. And then just his own love for the Lord. He was sharing a devotion on set. He's encouraging other people that are on the crew. But one of my favorite moments was when he saw the film for the first time on the Family Life Cruise because he couldn't talk afterwards. They, oh, pulled, wow. him up, they wow. pulled him up on stage and said, what did you think about it? He was so overwhelmed by the story and the movie and what just happened and that he was a part of it. So many answered prayers, you know. So we're very happy for him and we love him as a brother. So. Oh, we love and appreciate you guys. So let me, let me touch on one thing that you just said. We prayed about it. What yeah. would you say to Christian filmmakers who are putting together scripts, putting together the finals? What, what would you say to them regarding the Holy Spirit and the need to, to seek God's face? Sure. We talk about there's a difference between a good idea and a God idea. Exactly. Everybody's got a good idea, but God's ideas are always eternal and far superior. So we talk about, we want God's ideas in the writing process, so we're praying over our writing. We want his ideas in the casting process. It is human tendency to choose Saul over David. Wow. And God sees David in the shadows. He says, no, you don't want Saul, you want that guy, you know? And that can happen with a casting choice in a movie. We've had people, Hollywood actors, recommended to us for different roles. And like when we chose Priscilla Shire for War room she was not the obvious choice she'd never acted before but she was God's choice for the movie and has not only done an excellent job in the movie but has leveraged it for the kingdom so okay, last question because yeah. we could go on and on yeah, with this yeah, yeah. but when you talk about talent versus anointing talk to us about how that can sometimes be a bind and how you guys have consistently made the right choices or the God choices sure. in situations like that well it, it's definitely a prayer seeking the Lord asking God for clarity, discernment, defining moments. Um, we, we, will, we will vet the key actors and the key crew members that we're working with, and we ask them some tough questions about, uh, are you committed to Christ? What will you do not only if you fail, but if you succeed? Sometimes wow. when people, sometimes, some, yeah. yeah, sometimes when people get the awards and the money and the fame and the popularity and all, you know, people are cheering them on and wanting their autograph, it can spoil them, you know? Scripture says God resists the proud, yes. but he gives grace to the humble. So humility is one of our is one of Jesus's attributes that we talk about often mm -hmm. that we we all need to be constantly humbling ourselves because we don't want God to take his hand off of us not at all that's right <laughs> so we want God's hand of favor and blessing and that means walking with him on a daily basis seeking him in prayer and being obedient even if he tells you to do something that you wouldn't ordinarily do I love it so actually checking the backgrounds and the, and the actual uh, integrity of the characters but overcover how can we find out more about it we know it's coming out August sure. 23rd but tell us what we can just find out more information yeah. about it. Overcomermovie.com. If you go there, you can watch trailers, behind the scenes clips and things, hear about the movie. You can see where it's going to be shown in theaters around you. And if you're in another country, you can also see where it's going to be uh, shown in other countries. So August 23rd, mark your calendar, take your church, your group. It's love family it. friendly. Anybody can go see it. You're going to love this movie. You'll be inspired and you'll leave uh, grateful for giving your life to Christ or wanting to afterwards. So. Yes. Amen. Man, you know, I want to close with this. You know, uh, Kami or Cameron, he always says to 
to us, it's difficult, it's more difficult actually receiving the prosperity sometimes than it is the challenges in life. And so I, we just praise God for men and women of God of integrity and character who can stand not only the pressure of hardship and, and, and chastening, but also the pressure of prosperity. So thank you so much God. for your time. Thank God you. bless you as well. Thank you. Look, we're here watching Overcomer. We're excited to see all that God is doing through this movie. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. It's Caps. Thank you for tuning in.